Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show uh, and the Side Geeks podcast. Thank you so much for your support. Even though this week Zaya hasn't posted jack shit on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Say your lines, Zaya. Come on. Hatred. <laughs> so, uh, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the likes on our posts. I know we had a, a few videos that came out this week via Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. And thank you for you know hitting that like button. And we would appreciate it if you know you like the show, or if you know of somebody who would like the show, please. Share it so that they can also uh, come join us and so that we can, you know, grow this Side Geeks family uh, because we would really appreciate that. Uh, but with that said, we dropped a D23 video or episode uh, this week after the D23 weekend, right, that we recorded prior to to D23 starting and getting kicked off. And we were super pumped because we made some crazy predictions some predictions i made some predictions that didn't even make sense uh these guys made some logical predictions but somehow we missed a couple of things but some of the things were great so you know i guess we can um you know go around the quad here and and see what uh what you guys like what you didn't like introduce woody first like because james is not here today Oh, yeah. that's that's right. All right. So, yeah. So if you haven't noticed, we have a new podcaster uh, here with si another side geek uh, that also does not like Star Trek. I just found out. So he just became my favorite. Um, so, Woody, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. We appreciate Thank you having you, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's all you had to say. No Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Man, just kidding. We, we, getting we, 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 can throw, we can throw some love at, at Star Trek, but not not today. Um, not right now. So, Roly, you I think you had the biggest reaction uh, coming out of the weekend. You know, it was a football weekend, too, so I was kind of pumped with that, too. But Monday we talked, or I think it was Sunday night or Monday, and you were like, Man, like, what a bummer. So, so kind of talk to us and walk us through the – you know what you were thinking Sunday night. Well, for uh, obviously, I was excited coming in. Like, all right, what's going to be the new trailer drops? What's going to be the new uh, cast that they're going to announce for these movies and stuff? And everything that I predicted didn't happen. No, no casting of Fantastic Four. No Spider Man announcement or a trailer. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> like not even new shows for like uh, season two of like uh, Moon Knight or anything else that we all threw out that from that last time we spoke. So it was like, eh, I, I, don't get me wrong, there was still some stuff that was not Marvel related. Um, but if they did say anything, they showed trailers that they didn't release to the public yet. Mm -hmm. So that Ant Man trailer, we we don't see it. The um, what was the another one that they brought out that. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy, we didn't see anything for that either. We didn't see um, a lot of things that they, they showcased, but we weren't allowed to see it yeah. yet. Yeah. And that yeah. was my letdown. But they did have Star Wars stuff and, you know, others. Like, again, the Indiana Jones, we didn't even see the trailer. Yeah. And they showed it. <laughs> so it was like, yeah. what's the point if we're it's not going to show it? Yeah, absolutely, or at least something, right? Like at least like a ten seconds of something, right? But but we didn't see anything of that. Yeah, that was that was disappointing. I was kind of excited because of all the all the other stuff. So I didn't really process and think when I talked to you Sunday night. I, I wasn't processing like, oh shit, yeah, like they didn't show all this stuff, right? So and then is when it hit me like, yeah, like they could have done a lot better. Um, Zaya, what about you? What are your thoughts? Uh, well, first of all, I was hoping for the. Wolverine casting, uh, or at least something mutant wise, but yeah, we didn't really get that. But the 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 thing that really they got me, I was hooked, was the Secret Wars trailer. I was like, oh damn, Sam Jackson is back as Nick Fury. That whole trailer was badass. I loved it. That was and, cool. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Thunderbolts team. I mean, just the poster looked cool. So I hey. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, just to give Roly a little nugget, they gave him a little nugget, a uh, Fantastic Four nugget. They did. They gave a director. They named the director. He stood up, waved his hand. 
He did the princess wave. He said, hi, I'm here. And then he sat down. But that was all the Fantastic Four news we got. And uh, But the disappointing thing, I mean, not really disappointing, but I was like, eh, werewolf by night? Really? Seriously? But, you know what? Uh, I was actually excited about that one. Uh, really? Yeah, it looked pretty good. Yeah, because I'm a, I'm a big um, uh, Gael Garcia fan, um, and I was like pretty pleasantly surprised that he joined the MCU, right? And to do this type of... Because he started doing all these... Um, very poetic, very strange type movies, right? And and um and, and shows. So I'm I'm glad that he got to participate in this because it looks it looks pretty pretty darn old school, right? Like pretty darn old school horror. So I actually was pretty pumped about that one. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Uh uh yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I and that's and that's I think coming from like a, a big fan of him, right? Like, you know, from from <laughs> from like back in the day so i think that's what uh you know yeah the trailer was a little strange but I, you know i'm still looking forward to it it reminded me of like a 70s music and trailer type thing but yeah i think that's I exactly mean, what they were going for like that old school like you know like donald the dad or you know uh like werewolf and you know i don't know but yeah i still thought it was pretty cool i i like the the guy from the Oh, the Ed Norton uh, uh, Incredible Hulk is coming back as the main uh, main villain. I'm hearing the, for Captain the leader. America. The leader. The leader. There you go. He's coming back after like I'm what 15 years uh, since Ed, Ed Norton's uh, movie and uh, mm. well, Daredevil. Of course, we got we had the uh, Daredevil and Kingpin on stage. You know, Vincent D'Onofrio and and uh, what's his name. Uh, Oh my God, I'm blanking. Charlie Cox, Charlie Cox on stage. I thought that was pretty cool. The new uh, symbol for, I mean, the what is it called? The symbol. Uh, man, I'm blanking on words today. The, 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 logo, um, the logo for the show. The, lo the logo. Yeah. So I mean, that was kind of cool. Daredevil, Born Again. Um, totally. But I think that was about it. But uh, Marvel wise, and uh, oh. You know what? Actually, Loki season two. The I saw this movie over the summer uh, with Michelle Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh. Uh, uh, everything always everywhere or something like that. Have you have you? Oh seen, yeah, everything you everywhere trailer, all at it? once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that one. Her husband from the movie, which is the kid from the Indiana Jones movie, is joining Loki season two. I thought that was a pretty cool piece of casting. Yes, and they even show pictures of him with Harrison Ford, like at, at the convention, and then like people online are like posting well, pictures of like from the movie do, and then from the convention. You know he's there because he's going to be in Indiana Jones too as well. Really? Yeah, I think I saw a clip of Harrison Ford and him like hugging, like when they met for the first time or whatever. That was like a quick clip. You know, and I was like, oh, shit, this is awesome. Because even, like, the kid, right, like, he's a grown-ass man now, right? And, and you know, uh, but, yeah, that, that kind of made it exciting yeah, a little they, bit. Like, online, they're showing pictures of, like, him as a kid with Harrison Ford, like, hugging. And then him a as an adult at the convention hugging. It's like, side-by-side -side pics. It's like, everyone's, like, fan like fanning out over that. So hey, that see, cool. just a quick correction. It's Secret Invasion. That one with uh, Nick Fury, but oh, because there's wow. an Avenger Secret oh, Wars. Yeah. Wars. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Sorry so that's about that. that's a that's a TV show that you're talking about. That you know it's going to yes. be a season of that. But, I misspoke. Yeah. Thank you for correcting me. I misspoke. Word Secret Invasion mm -hmm. with Nick Fury. Yes, I can't wait. What about that. you, Woody? What did you see anything that caught your eye or anything that you were disappointed on? Yes, you know I I've, I've been waiting for a long time. Little for, mermaid. Um, yes. How did you know? For what? Say that again. <laughs> Little mermaid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, you know what? I've been waiting for a long time for Ant Man, and when I saw Paul Rudd doing the, doing the uh, the announcement, man, I was so happy because it's probably one of my favorite movies. Um, what's what's uh, what's the other guy? What's the other character in there? In the what's his name? Luis. The Hispanic guy. Is that Luis. it? Yeah. He's, he's he's hilarious. Him and Paul he, Rudd, man, they're so funny. 
Sorry to interrupt you, but I just no, want no, a no, quick ahead, in, 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 interjection here where I I, I, I heard there was a, a petition out there for Luis to like recap every Marvel movie, like how he did at the end of that Ant Man movie. Oh my yeah. god, that would be hilarious. That would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Michael um, Peña. Michael Peña. Well, I mean, Michael Peña, yes. And Michael Peña, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that 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 whole that whole cast in that movie, uh, uh, Ti and the uh, uh, the other guy, man, super super funny movie. Uh, I was so happy about that. Um, you know, the other one, what I had, I, honestly, I had no idea. Indiana Jones, huge Indiana Jones fan, and uh, I was super happy that they're gonna make another one. Yeah, probably uh, I'm look out, the, look out for those two. Um, there was another Star Wars one that's coming out. I think it's, I can't remember what it's what it. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. What's what? I think you're talking about maybe remember his name. T- Tales of the Jedi. Is or, it or it's with um? Are you talking about the animated one or no? No, 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 no. It's, it's not the animated one. Um, uh, it starts with an A, I think. I can't remember oh, the name. Andor, Andor, uh, Andor. Yeah. Andor. Yeah. 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 Uh, that looks pretty good. So that's uh, those were the ones that kind of caught my eye during this whole D twenty three event that's going on. Yeah, I think for so, me, like you know, on Friday I was pretty, you know, like I was tuning in here and there and i think friday was mainly like video games right and just wanted to call out a couple of things there um because i think they didn't name it but there's gonna be a captain america black panther um like kind of um fps game like first person shooter game like in like war war ii and i think it's gonna have like uh whatever that guy was um like the older black man that was like a super soldier i think he's gonna feature that guy too um, you know, and I don't know if I don't know if that's gonna be like Black Panther. I don't know what's what that's gonna be, but oh, it's gonna be uh, T'Challa's grandfather, or something like that. Yeah, something like. But it looked pretty sick. Um, sick. And then there was another Marvel one called Midnight Suns that is like a real like a role play game. Um, uh, and that man, that one yeah. looked good. That one looked like um, mm. kind of like uh like a Dota for like Marvel, right? Like you had Wolverine, Spider-Man, uh, Iron Man, Ghost Rider, man, you had a bunch blade and then you can actually like customize your own superhero, right? That, um, that you, like you can create your own superhero, super, yeah, (laughs) super coche. And, uh, you know, I, I just thought, you know, like it looked pretty good. And there was actually one more that caught my eye. And I don't know if you guys caught it, and I forgot the name of it, but it was kind of like a Mario Kart, but with Disney characters. But it looked super sick. Like, the tracks looked, like, super good. And it had, like, of, of course, like, Disney characters, like, more of the of the PG movies, right? Like, Monsters and, you know, like, all, all those, you know, characters. But it looked pretty, pretty awesome because, you know, I can, I can always use a Mario Kart. Um, but then as far as... The announcements, right, that came over on Saturday and Sunday, um, I definitely, I think my favorite was, and what sold it whole weekend for me was this Tales of the Jedi, right, that is going to have, like, its own mini-series uh, Clone War style, right, with, like, Ahsoka, we're going to see a, a young Dooku, right, uh, a young Mace Windu, um, and a young Qui-Gon, right, and I think that I, that right there just sold me because I finished watching Clone Wars and I was like, man, like I want more of this and they're bringing it back guys. So I, I, you know, I'm super pumped about that. And then yes, Roly had to, uh, burst my bubble later that weekend. Cause I was like, oh yeah, they didn't announce any of the shit that we predicted, but, uh, but oh, well, at least a little star Wars can make it up, make, can make up for it. And, 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 hey. Didn't they? Yeah. Didn't the, they say that Samuel L. Jackson is going to be Mace Windu again? In that, uh... I don't think so, dude. Because it's going to be like a younger, and it, obviously it's animated, but I don't think he's going to be doing the voice because it it sounded like a younger voice. I don't know for sure, but I don't think it's going to be uh, Samuel. I know he's coming back, and I don't know if it's live action or cartoon. But he's a, he's coming back to Star Wars in in some capacity. Yeah, as, or maybe that's Mace it. Windu. Yeah, maybe that's it. Um, you know, I did want to add something about the Thunderbolts that got announced because they did get say the cast right, which is pretty cool. 
But what I happened to up. Abomination or Red oh. Hulk? Like no, no. Well, Abomination, yes, and uh, the guy. Oh my God, the guy uh, from uh, Captain America: uh, Civil War, the 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 guy behind the whole thing. Um, oh yeah, Zemo. Zemo. He. Everyone yeah. was, was expecting him to be to be in it, and then no, he's not. I mean, he's not in the poster. He was in in the team up poster. So. So. Just a theory here. Just a theory here. You know, I think that and and you know this is a perfect transition into talking about she-hulk a little bit right because in she-hulk i feel like they're dropping a lot of things or hints hinting at trying to get her blood right and i think we talked about it in some prior episodes but i think that maybe they didn't show it to us yet but i i have a gut feeling man that this blood drawn thing and like and then hulk like going out you know out into into space or whatever i have a feeling that we might see a red hulk and maybe an even like even a red she hulk you know um in the future and maybe they just didn't drop it right now but maybe they'll integrate it at some point in the future uh, because we still you know need more trailers right we still need they, show, they introduce the cast, but no trailer, right? So who's to say they don't introduce a little piece here and there uh, within those movies? I don't know. But it's I just have a gut feeling that all this, you know, trying to collect blood and, like, losing vials or whatever is going to become Red Hulk. Uh, another thing I read online is where uh, Kevin Feige, uh, he said the reason for the Thunderbolts team is because right now within the MCU – there aren't uh, an Avengers team. So the, the Thunderbolts are basically trying to take the place of the Avengers. And that's the whole reason for the team up there. And uh, I mean, that's a pretty cool, uh, interesting fact. Or they could be the MCU's uh, Suicide Squad. That exactly. Mm -hmm. that, and that, that and exactly a lot of the characters are going to die, perhaps. And then this cast will be there, but it'll be a small role, perhaps. I mean, they could do that. I don't know if they're gonna go the James Gunn version of Suicide Squad, uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, James Gunn did do uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, so he might uh, chime in on that. Who knows? That that oh. that could be. I uh, either way, you know, like it it gives you stuff to think about. Yeah, they didn't drop a lot of trailers we were expecting, and you know, you you would think that this would have been the the, the appropriate venue right to do that but you know how disney is man they uh they're, they're pretty stingy sometimes and then boom they drop you know they'll just announce something and they'll be like oh it's coming out today <laughs> you know so hopefully you know we'll see some some good down the line um so she hulk should we talk about she hulk episode five so yes, sure. <laughs> Ah, uh, so shortest episode ever. Um, yeah, you know, no end credit scene, right? And if we want to give a breakdown, right? I mean, it's basically, um, you know, we see Titania like kind of taking over. Actually, the last episode, right? Episode four, we see that uh, She Hulk gets sued. Um, and it's yeah. Titania, of course, we see in this episode that she's taking over her name brand, and you know, we see all this like. Uh, makeup commercials and like billboards and things like she's completely taken over um and yeah. it's just kind of like the 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 battle in court between like who owns the name um and then at the same time you know story b is the uh fashion designer right and we get a little sneak peek at you know this dude that creates like custom uh costumes right uh for superheroes and you know there's a lot of stuff there that we'll, we'll talk about but it all kind of breaks down into you know she hulk owning her name uh titania losing but kind of having that like little uh thing of like i'm gonna get you back and then you know the the episode kind of ends right so let's get into yeah. it let's get into it. what what are your first thoughts uh, it was mere, it was basically a courtroom drama this time around. Uh, she yeah, it was, it was Titania, and the whole reason for the fashion portion of the story is so she would look 
normal or better in the court for her to win in order for her to win so basically it was all connected story-wise like fashion and trial were basically all together but i don't know it, it, I, it, was, I, it was an all right story an all right episode it was, it was okay i felt like it was like a filler for something else that's gonna happen i don't know i, I felt like it was kind of slow um i don't know it's just my thought yeah you know i feel the same way and but the thing is that we've been saying that for like the last three episodes, right? Like we're, we're like, okay, it's slowed down, it's it's gonna pick up, it's gonna pick up, you know. And then like they have this, you know, making her suit, and we're like, oh, we're gonna finally gonna see her ass. I mean, see her in her suit, you know. And then like they don't show it, like they don't show anything, you know. Uh, so I was like pretty bummed about that. But just like any She Hulk episode, man, you know, like I. First watch, I was kind of bummed, and then as I'm starting doing to do my research and start picking up on the on the Easter eggs, then is when it got exciting for me again. So at least we have that, and we'll we'll discuss it more today. But yeah, at plain sight, first watch, short episode. It was like fuck, like another funny, you know, episode of you know, like what whatever sitcom you want, right? Like Friends or whatever. Like it was funny, it was good, but it was, there was no action, like no. Uh, the, the only yeah. movement to the plot was the, the 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 suit, but other than that, like no action between the, the Titania and her, and you know it was just it was just you know average to me. Yeah. You know, I was gonna bring up about how you know we don't really know who the big bad is in this whole show, right? Yeah, we're five episodes in, still no idea who the main villain is. I mean, unless it's Titania, it's supposed to be Titania the whole time, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I recall hearing them when they were trying to take her blood, um, yeah. and they jump back into the van, and then the, uh, I, I know this is not, you know, uh, a word for word, but one of them said, uh, "Well, like something in the lines of, well, boss is not gonna be happy." I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys picked up on that. No, yeah, yeah. We, did. we did. Like we 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 don't know who the big bad is, and we coming into the show, we were automatically thinking it was going to either be Titania, Abomination, and then you know I mentioned that Kingpin may, maybe might be involved because he might be the person asking for the blood, but now with like how the leader got introduced, you know for for you know for an upcoming show, right? We don't know who. I mean, it could really be anybody at this point, um, and then. Another thing I saw was that the the guy came back, right? The the creepy guy from the dates. Todd. Like, right. There's more to that too. I feel like maybe he's involved with that too as well. I mean, for him, yeah. why, why why was he there? Why did he need? You know, why why is he the client? Right. So. And just the way he was looking at She Hulk, you know, when he was thought when he was when he was talking to her. Oh, she was definitely up to something. I, oh. What it is, I have no idea. Also, does your skin penetrate, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, same thing with the needle. It could be the thing. You know, who knows? And even adamantium or vibranium. I mean, you, you I don't look, blame Todd. I probably would be looking at She-Hulk that way, too, and trying to be like, damn, girl. But but there is a, a, a wild theory out there um, that in, in the She-Hulk comic book, um, there is a character that is kind of similar to, to Todd, um, and it ends up being uh, Crystal Bernard, who is Dr. Doom's son, you know? So, it, again, I don't know if they will bring Dr. Doom, but it's some type of a connection, right? Because they feel like this Todd character is, is ex acts exactly like this character in the comic book. Now, I didn't read that comic book, and this is just... Out of like a dip rabbit hole in in YouTube, right after after watching the show, but it's that's that and coming back to where that's where the fun is, right? Like theorizing about these things because you know if this is right, this could be setting something up, right? It could be anybody as the big bad at this point. Yeah. With all that being said. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, or it could be Ping Ping too, right? Like he could he, this guy Todd maybe just playing a piece, right? Or oh, just just yeah. like with Titania and with the Wrecking Crew, right? right? And remember that um, Daredevil's going to be in this. There, there might be a connection to that too, as well. Maybe King Ping wants the blood for something else. Absolutely. So we see um, 
Nikki and Pug, right, go into, um, you know, or, or trying to, well, it all started because he wants the Iron Man's, right? Like the Iron Man 3's or something, shoes or whatever. And he's like, oh, like let me go Jordans. to my, my broker or whatever. <laughs> and then they kind of come up with this idea of, hey, let's go look at this fashion designer that designs, you know, clothing for superheroes. And, you know, I, I kind of like that pair, right? Like doing the little goofy thing, and and I don't know if you guys saw when they go into the with the Chinese guy, um, and I'm saying Chinese because he was Chinese, so um, yeah. <laughs> not because whatever. So he goes, they go in there, and he has a bunch of like bootleg stuff. I thought that shit was awesome, bro. Like the uh, Avengers, <laughs> Avengers, <laughs> Avengers, yeah, Hulk. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know, man. a bunch of stuff, and then like they get all geared up, right? Like they're like with the hammer and everything. And if you look at it, right? I was like looking at, at some of these uh clips, and like all the superheroes in the in the Avengers or Avengers had like different, you know, like I think Thor had a shovel, and we'll try to put it on the screen. Um, uh, but uh, I think Hawkeye had like a claw or something. Like it was super weird, bro. But it's like Hulk had a mustache. All had a mustache and nipples, bro. <laughs> See, so those little things are like, okay, like this shit was funny, right? And it kept kind of kept me going after the show, right? Um, because I'm like, yeah, that 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 was pretty that was pretty cool. And who's to say, you know, Disney man, like, and I I think I heard a rumor that this 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 or these brands of like knockoff stuff is like an actual designer. Um, that is some type of relative to the director or writer or whatever. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing stuff like this in, you know, Disney stores Amazon. and things like that, right? Or Amazon or whatever. Because, um, you know, now the super fanatics are going to want, you know, their purple Thor with a must, uh, purple Hulk with a mustache. Yeah. So <laughs> they, they finally get to meet the guy, right? Um, and I'm trying to pull up his name. Griffin Matthews or Luke Jacobson or whatever, um, who is this fashion designer that has the uh, vibe of uh, what's her name from The Incredibles, the um, Elda or something, right, uh, from The Incredibles that's like super sassy or whatever. Like I'm not going to, uh, you know, make just whatever uh, costumes, no capes type thing, right? Like he's super sassy or whatever, and he finally takes them in as a client. Um, and you know, towards there, like we see a couple of, of costumes. I think we see Frogman, right? Uh, that's one of the things. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah. Uh, like as they're entering, well, actually this was not Pug and, and Nikki. This was actually like She-Hulk already, right? With Nikki. And he's like leaving the, the store. With his suit. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. And then, um, you know, of course we see, uh, some other things actually, um, you know, before we get to the Daredevil stuff, there were some other costumes. Did you got guys pick up anything there? Oh, I couldn't get the Batman tell. Forever suit. The Batman Forever suit with the bat nipples. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like leaning on it and stuff. Like rubbing it. Like what is going on? Exactly. He was right on the nipple. He's just like hanging out there. Like hey, <clears throat> that's the only one I, I really like. It clicked. Like so I clicked in my head. It stuck there, but. Uh, yeah, there was uh, one. I'm trying to look it up right now. Um, but there was a couple of female ones, man. Um, and I think one of them um, probably looked like like Sift. And I think we talked about her in a couple episodes ago, right? Um, that they were hinting at it, and I think it looked like a little bit like that. But who knows, man? But the big the big one, obviously Daredevil, right? But you know, whatever James was looking at last week when he said that. Uh, Charlie Cox was was casted for like episode five, six, or whatever. Like we still didn't see him, right? We saw his helmet. That's it. And 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 uh, I, I I saw a picture of like them walking by, and like his uh, suit was on the uh, hanger. Oh, but was it? Before, yes. I can't I can't find the website now, but I remember like right after I saw the episode, I was like looking up like. Like looking what I missed online, other so I can go back and rewatch and see it again. And I saw a picture of them like showing like it was like in in like it was like the first of a bunch of suits 
but you could definitely make mm. out the red the dark red and stuff of the costume. The, like the kind of gold yeah that's pretty cool mm -hmm. so i mean they're dropping hints that he will be on right um it's just a matter of like at what capacity right are we gonna see him just in the courtroom or are we see him are we gonna see him suit mm -hmm. up right suited up so well, I mean, according to the Daredevil tra trailer of She-Hulk, they show him both ways. They show him talking to her, giving her, like, a pep talk, and then also they show him, like, in the suit. So, but remember when we talked in the chat, I was like, I posted to you guys that link to their website where it's was like, uh, Charlie Cox is only going to be in one episode, and then James is like, no, man, he showed me the IMDb where it's, like, five episodes. Are we on episode five of nine? So if she doesn't show up, I mean, if he doesn't show up by next week and show up for four episodes, you know, he, I, I but, is wrong and. I but know. here's the other thing, though. These actors always lie. Remember the whole Spider-Man thing? Yeah. Like. Oh yeah. It, 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 it doesn't for matter. For a year. For a year. No, no, I'm not in Spider-Man. No, no way home. No way. So okay. again, it, it doesn't matter what he says. Like you know, yeah. it could it could be a whole. You know, where's Tom? Where's Tom Holland when you need him, right? To, to spill yeah, some beans. <laughs> for real. Get him on the next show, right? Uh, oh, that would be awesome. So then the other part that I thought was interesting, right, is you know we kind of go back, and I, I think it has been the theme of this show too, like to see the female perspective on things, right? Because. You know, as I was like doing my deep dive into the show, that part where like she pretty much has to humiliate herself to uh, win her case, right? Like, kind of put a, put put herself out there, bring her previous dates. You know, like at first I saw like like nothing, right? And I think it's pretty eye opening to kind of understand from a female's perspective that apparently that is extremely bad, like extremely embarrassing, right? To like bring all these dates, and I guess I guess for a guy too, right? But it's uh, interesting to see her as She-Hulk, right? That's supposed to be this, like, powerful, like, badass, you know, unbreakable character, like, embarrassed and, like, you know, humiliated a little bit, right? So it's it's interesting to see. And, and you know, and in another aspect, you know, we're not seeing the, the big battles with Titania, like right? the big punches and big explosions or whatever, but it's just, like... You know, like cat fight, pretty much, right? <laughs> Between them in the court, and you know, it's an interesting perspective. And again, you know, I encourage you know our viewers to kind of like go back and like do some digging after the episode, because at a glance, it seems like eh, whatever, right? But there's a deeper meaning of like shit that happens in real life that she's experiencing, right? So yeah, and I love how Titania is like uh, shit talking. To uh, she hulk the whole almost the whole uh, time in court. He's like, "Oh, look, it's Shrek in a suit." <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think that was a callback to the uh, critique she got when the well for the character, right? When the trailer first dropped for She Hulk, and like, "Oh, is that Shrek?" Like, <laughs> Dude, I, I still don't think she looks good. It, it looks like a character, a cartoon, cartoons and whatnot. Yeah. I don't know. Is it me, or do you guys still do you guys still think it looks it looks good, or no? It's yeah. I mean, it's it's give or take. Yeah, I mean, yeah, give or take. I don't. I try to not pay attention to that stuff, like to that amount of detail. I know you know it's important. Me but... either. I. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna do it better once she's in like in a movie, and oh, they're gonna invest more into that. That's guaranteed. And they could... And they could probably go back and redo it, you know, like have they done with uh, like Game of Thrones, right? Where they edit out the cup that was there in that episode, and then there's no footage of that anymore. Mm -hmm. The pinky, or was it the pinky that was missing? Yeah, yeah, and it it could also be a little bit on purpose because if we think about it, right? Like, and I and I was just thinking about this recently. Like, she we've been seeing her with the crappy suit. Right with the like really loose suit, yeah, and like they make her look bad, right? Um, and I think that you know, hopefully by next episode where we see her with her actual suit oh, no. and everything, maybe then they'll make the change so that we can see it pop right on the screen, and, yeah. And you know, it's a possibility. I'm, I'm thinking. Are I'm you hoping. still talking about the character popping in your face? 
<laughs> Listen, man, uh, we'll leave we'll leave my fantasies for after the podcast. But speaking of fantasies, ti- Titania, boy, oh shit! Like she was looking pretty mighty good too. Um, but also, also, uh, you know, I'm I'm reading the Secret Wars comic book right now, right? And Titania is such a badass, bro. She's such a badass, and they're, like, not doing her justice in this show. You know what I mean? Like, she can kick anybody's ass, right? And, you know, it's it's just, like, she's just, you know, like a supermodel, right? With, like, extra superpowers or whatever, but that she's not using. So, you know, hopefully it'll culminate in, like, some big fight. Uh, I think there was a, a leaked uh, scene or whatever when like I, th- I think we see she hawk punching her in the face or something but you know wishful thinking hopefully uh hopefully that'll make it happen so wasn't that like a behind the scenes like clip yeah were they released online could be yeah yeah i wasn't i, I didn't see, see too much but you know hopefully it'll be uh it'll be reality here soon um and then I'm just dying to see Daredevil at this point. I mean, either uh, Matt uh, Matt Murdock or Daredevil. I'm just I'm really getting really impatient with this. I mean, why announce them and then well episode, five episodes in and still nothing? Uh, the audience here is dying to see him. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. So one more thing that I wanted to cover because I think I think. I don't know if we missed anything, but I wanted to cover. Um, there was no end end credit scene, right? But they do yeah. have the illustrations, right? The art at the end yes. of the show, and then we the see a, a a clip, the right? Shoes. Where uh, I think it was Nikki and um, and um, Pug, right? Like buying the Iron Man shoes, and then we see this rack, right, with a bunch of like superhero shoes. I want to get your thoughts on that. Like, did you guys pay attention and see what shoes were there? First of all, I think that's his closet, and he's just like, oh, and he's like putting it under the shelf or something. Okay. And I did I, not catch that. Yeah. It's, it's one of the Bro. drawings at the end of the episode. You know, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they that. had, I'll start it off. They had Spider Man, Deadpool. They had, um, what else? Did here, I have, a, uh, I have the list right here. So they have oh, okay, okay. they have Captain they America, lot, dude. they have Deadpool, they have Black Panther, they had no, Cyclops, more, they had Vision, I'm more, yeah, Wolverine. The ones that hasn't been introduced yet, like Wolverine, Cyclops, Deadpool, like, Hawkeye. They, they had Leapfrog, shoes. they had Bishop, but Bishop the uh, X Men, right? The X Men uh, uh-huh. Bishop. They have the Green Goblin, bro. Captain Marvel, Spider Man. They had uh, Moon Knight. They had, well, there's one that could be Gambit, or people think it's more Jack of Hearts, because uh, he's more related to She-Hulk, but because it was the one with like a little uh, pink spade, so you know I'm hoping Gambit, but um, Falcon, Nova, Ghost Rider, um, oh. and Doctor Strange, uh, and <laughs> Juggernaut, right? So. You know, a lot of those, and to be honest with you, bro, I mean, we have, you know, I just said Juggernaut. We said Wolverine. We said Deadpool. Is this confirmation, like, is this a confirmation that we we didn't get at D23 about the mutants, bro? I mean, this is proof that they are in the MCU, right? I, I'm just delighted that they acknowledge right now Deadpool is in the MCU. I think you're right. This is acknowledgement that they're in the MCU and they exist. Otherwise, why would they, like, you know, like, Fans have shoes of their favorite superhero, like Iron Man 3s. Right. Why would they have Deadpool shoes if he's not a live-action superhero in their world? Right. And it's not like a one-off, right? Like like a Deadpool, okay, Deadpool, you know, like we'll do a counter with Sony or whatever. Like, dude, they had Cyclops, Wolverine, bro. I mean, Juggernaut. I mean, those are pretty big names uh, from, from like the yeah. X-Men or, or mutant <laughs> side, right? So... Um, if anything, I'm hoping that this is like the big confirmation that this is, this is happening. Right. Um, I honestly, I want to, I want to believe this is canon, but I, uh, I don't know. I think they're just teasing and doesn't really prove anything yet. 
What is Aya showing? Stop. The Deadpool shoes. Yeah. Nice. No worries. I, I'm going to put them on the screen just for you. <laughs> you can put it on his face. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them right right on your square. Um all right. So anything else, She Hulk? I think we probably covered everything. I don't know if I missed anything. I think that's it. I mean the only thing I, I, I wanna add is like when you were talking about how they're like all in the Avengers gear at the before they get into the get an appointment. I love how Pug has got like a hat on, and he's got Thor's uh, <laughs> Thor's uh, Mjolnir, and he's got Captain America's shield. It was like <laughs> reminding us of reminding us of like Endgame, where it's like, yeah, you know, that I thought that was kind of a cool little Easter egg or callback or whatever you yeah. want to call it. No, I agree. I think that was pretty awesome, and I actually like the character that. You know, they took him out of his regular serious character uh, routine and they made him like a little like male Nikki, right? Like, yeah, you know, like, let's, you know, uh, like goofy. I, I, I definitely like that comic relief. I like that there's a lot, there's definitely a lot of uh, familiar faces in this show. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Parks, uh, 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 Parks and Recreation. Hell yeah. Yeah. So okay. she, you know, so, so she was, yeah, so you know, that's, uh, you remember Tom's girlfriend, the doctor? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was her. That was her. That's 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 She Hulk. What? That was really? Her. Yeah, yeah, that was her. She and Tom's girlfriend? Titanium Tom's girlfriend. Mosley? Um yeah, uh, I forgot what season it was. But it was it was it was like one of the episodes where like they uh you know, they were at like the at the roller rink. And um, she ended up needing like uh, some uh, something uh, like a permit for like some kind of thing in the park. That's her. That's uh, that's uh, that's that that was that's that's She Hulk. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Let me, man. That's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Titana Masley, uh, man. Parks and Rec. That's awesome. Um, and the other guy too. The uh, the other lawyer was uh, he was on um. Arrow. He was on he, he was on CPD, oh, and he was, he was also on yeah yeah, yeah. he was uh, yeah he was uh, he was Boyd's son yeah and he was also on uh, on this other paramedic show that I used to watch um, he played he also played a cop on there sirens no, sirens that was yeah. A, yeah yeah that yeah. was a paramedic oh was he a cop or a paramedic no you're he was he a, was cop. a cop he was, he was the cop, cop yeah. yeah 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 he was CPD so, in yeah. that too right he was CPD huh? in that. Yeah, so yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, but that was, I thought that was pretty neat. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. I I have to say though that I did miss Wong, dude. Wong is like such a such a good character. Wongers, Wongers, Wongers. man, and Madison. Wong, Wong and the girl are too funny. Yeah, Madison with a Y, but it's not where you think it. But speaking of, but speaking of. Doing something wrong and a girl. Uh, let's talk about Hustle Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, like that? Nice. You like that? That was a, that was a good segue. That was a good segue. 